Let's get right into it with some common factors. So the first question is, is factorise 4x squared plus 8x. This is a common factor because there's a number and letter that go into both 4x squared and 8x, namely 4x. So 4x is what goes outside the bracket. 4x times x is 4x squared and 4x times 2 is 8x, so it's x add 2 inside the bracket. Nice and simple, that one. Just a quick one with a so. If there's an x squared, don't assume it's double brackets. Always check first, is there a common factor? If there is, it's single bracket. If not, it will be a double bracket one. Okay, moving on. 16x squared minus 25. No common factor, so it is double brackets, and this one's called a difference of two squares. Square root of 16x squared is 4x, square root of 16 is 4, x squared is x, and the square root of 25 is, of course, 5. So 4x and 5 go into the brackets. So here is our answer. 4x goes in the first place, 5 goes in the last place, and you get a plus in one bracket and a minus in the other, and that is a difference of two squares. A trinomial. Trinomial means there's three things, an x squared, an x, and a number. So we're going to factorise a simple one, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So basically we're looking for two numbers that add to make 5, but times to make 6. So looking at our times in, I could have 1 times 6, obviously minus 1 times minus 6 as well. Or I could have 2 times 3, and you should be able to see, but plus 2 plus 3 makes 5. Plus 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 times 3 is 5, so that is our answer. Get our brackets, the 2 goes in one bracket, and the 3 goes in the other bracket, x in the first place, x add 2, x add 3, nice and simple. Okay, a trinomial where there's a number in front of x squared, and always a coefficient of x squared. Start off the same way, we're looking for a sum and a product, but this time our product is the first number times the last number, 3 times 10, so that's minus 30 as our product, and our sum is still the middle number, minus 13. So starting with minus 30, just do it in order, and you'll get the answer. You might be able to see it straight away. You're looking for two that make minus 30, but add or take away to make minus 13. Well, let's try minus 1 times 30. That's obviously not going to give me minus 13. Minus 2 times 15, that's the next obvious one. Oh, that's good. 15 take away 2 is 13. So or minus 15 add 2 is minus 13. So I can write that. Minus 15 add 2 is minus 13. Minus 2 times 15 is minus 30. And then we can move on to our next step, which changes slightly. It doesn't go straight into brackets. We're now going to split the middle term. So we've got 3x squared still, but instead of writing minus 13x, we're going to swap out our minus 15 add 2. So we've got minus 15x add 2x, and then we've still got minus 10 on the end. Let's move on to our next step. So taking the 3x squared minus 15x plus 2x take away 10, if I split it down the middle, I'll just factorise each side with a common factor. So the first side, we've got to factorise 3x goes outside. 3x times x is x squared. 3x times 5 is 15, put a minus. And then when we factorise the other side, we just want to make sure that Inside our bracket is the same as the first one, so it's going to start with x minus 5. I'm just going to work backwards. Something times x is 2, so it's 2. Plus 2, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. That's has actually now done the question. Our answer is going to be what's outside the brackets, 3x add 2, and then the next one, x minus 5, is our second bracket. In other words, 3x plus 2 and x minus 5. These ones with a number in front of x squared are harder. We've got a longer process. I urge you to go through this a few times to get the hang of it. I don't want if you don't get it exact. And this is just one way to do it. Your teacher may have shown you a slightly different method, but this is one way that I feel is a good way to do it. This has been Mr. Cleon from Cleon Maths, and today we've looked at factorising what you'll be needed in the 2022 National 5 exams. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.